Dog, listen. Got a yarn for you. Quick biz, that is. You interested? All right, lay it on me. I was cruising the net, you feel? And I spotted an interesting classifier. Wait, let me guess. Performance enhancers? I used Mr. Stud? Cheap? Now, I'm a serious man, V. And serious matters are what, if not all, that concern me. Somebody's selling a book of spells. Edition dating from before the first net crash. Now, you know a thing or two about that, don't you? Like, how much that soft could run you, and earn you. You want me to clep it for you, don't you? Uh-uh. No clepping required. Just buy the damn thing. Reimburse you twofold. Okay, we'll do. Yeah, my man. Zipping you the deets on the cellar. And luck be with you all the way. Spellbook, you got it? I do indeed. Tucked away somewhere safe. You want coordinates? I need to see my money. Are you trying to fuck me? No, not at all. I just. Because I really got it in for people who try that. Always tempted to end any conversation like that. Violently. Abruptly. You'd be making a mistake. A big one. I'm not out to con you. Also, I'm not a victim. I'm prepared just as well as you are. Damn, this stinks to high hell. But okay, take you at your word. You won't regret it. Better not, or you will. Bigly. Giving you my word on that. Just flipped you the coordinates. Mm -hmm. We'll see. XPR. Gotta be like 50 years old. At least that. Had one, you know. Top of the line back in the day. Pizza and Yes! Every Eddie. Thank you. 
Now, I'll back up. Got some heads open, some bodies inside. Get you anything? Listen, from one net runner to another. Got any pro tips you could spare? <laughs> Don't see why not. If you're cool with Rogue, you're cool with me. I can sell you a few tricks of the trade from the Bartmoss era. Rach Bartmoss, D Bartmoss. Tell me you're fucking with me. Before dropping off the grid, he unleashed a slew of ice breaking grams and protos in the darkest corners of the net. I heard how paranoid he was. Any idea what happened to him? Who knows? But I was able to dig up a few classic Bart Moss relics. Here, let me show you.
You got my eddies? So, you got the book? As I says, V, I am a serious man. Amount is agreed. All yours. Thanks a bunch. Don't mention it. It's money well deserved. How may I help you? Pretty young looking for a ripper. That a problem? Depends. Not if your experience doesn't match your... I worked ten years in an R&D lab at Moore Technologies. I hope that eases your nerves. You mind if I ask why you left? I got a feeling Moore Tech doesn't skimp out on its engineers. Sure, the pay was good. But I couldn't sleep. Moore, as you might know, specializes in deep tissue integration, titanium skulls, spine replacements. It's difficult work. It takes time before a new implant becomes viable, its implementation repeatable. Time. And lives. I'm looking for some new chrome. Of course. Get comfortable and we'll get to it.
How you been? Been all right. Was thinking, could drop by for dinner maybe. Joss has worked up a hankering to cook for the family. Ah, oh, haven't forgotten I exist after all. I had to sort some things out. Help my sis. Randy's still in the hospital. Someone has to keep an eye on the kids when Joss visits him. Wax, don't need to explain. Right. So, you gonna stop by? How could I say no? Right, great. See you at Joss's then. Sounds preem. I'll wait. Oh, hey! Hi! Hey, how's it going? Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Um, soy meat? Okay. Dunno. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. Come on, V. This an ancient ward family secret? Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. <laughs> I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. Honestly, thought you were kidding about the cook-off. With the joss that sweat away in the kitchen, wow. How? Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. How's, uh, Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And, uh, mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him. Fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask, what about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure, no pressure. It's just I, uh, you know. I know. All right. I think you've stirred enough. Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. 
You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. That's Maddie, nice. How you doing, Joss? I'll call you back later. Really nice of you to come. Uh, thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. Looking good, Joss. Really think so? Thanks. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. It was all River. I just helped. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy uh, had... Don't owe me a thing, Joss. Thank you. River's in the backyard. He couldn't wait to see you again. Tomatoes are next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio? Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? How my parents died. Now, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris, what did you do? Had the gun to his head, and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle River, we'll you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. V? Join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. Well, what do you think? 
Always wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and Diablado. Oh, he's the worst. But I know we can beat him. The city's most evilest mastermind ever. All right, let's get to it. All right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco and Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Evie, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Oh, there he is! Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. <gasps> Watch out! It's Coonies! Not half bad. <laughs> Too slow! Too many donuts. Not half bad. Next round, next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. God. No, hey, watch I'm this. Fairy. Okay, that's all of them. But next time we gotta be faster. Ah, shit. Out of the way, citizen. Obstructing justice is punishable by law. This is your last warning! Easy there, Captain. I'm just passing through. He's hit! He's hit! Not far now. Don't charge in there, Callahan. I can't afford to lose one like this, man. Don't worry about me. I want to see you squirm. 
No! Your last words! <laughs> So now, lunch is ready. Oh, Mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown ups. We're the best. Thanks for letting them win. They had fun. Ah, they're great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you, too. Hey, food's on the table. So, was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too! Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? If the future allows it, uh, I'd like to have one someday. If for no other reason, than that I love get-togethers like this. Nothing's more important to me than my kids. I've made mistakes. Life's gone off the rails sometimes. But I had my kids. I got my kids. Joss, you see me being a parent ever? I mean, I don't exactly look like good palm material myself, so... Yes! Who says yes? I do. <laughs> he raised his hand himself! <laughs> v, are you seeing someone? Involved? Fess up, please. Um... Well, that's decided. <laughs> Got an 11.99. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew. Situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. You just getting out of doing the dishes. Admit it. Also true. Which gives us two reasons to go. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? Having a drink? Shooting the shit. This way. Oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah. Okay. Good. Just push. Ugh. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Apparently the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming.
Out here you can't smell the shit the corpse dump on the streets. Like the city's their own personal toilet. Shit, flush, repeat. Hmm. Poetic. Couldn't have said it better. Got something for you. <laughs> Your piece? Had her a long time. Too long. I think it's time she found a new owner. Don't know what to say. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. In this very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. Now for the highlight of the evening. Up for a drink? Something strong is sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. Here's to Joss and the kids. Yeah, to family. Got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. <laughs> we'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. We had fun yesterday. Yeah. Oh, but now I gotta roll. Promised Joss I'd take her to see Randy. No rush either. Get your sea legs back. Take as much time as you need. Sure you're good to drive. <laughs> Please. Former NCPD. I'm a pro on Hangover Highway. I'll be fine. Apologize to Joss for me. We kinda dined and dashed yesterday. And left puke all over the bathroom? Aw, oh, shit. Tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V. Morning. Not intruding, I hope. The generator. You remember, right? Oh, fuck. Need me to fix it now? Yeah, now. Then we go to the hospital. I'd rather have everything ready for when Randy gets back. What's up with the generator? I don't know, but electricity's out. And then his room needs tidying. I'm supposed to do that? I know how it sounds, but this one time, please. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. 
Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month just to not have him hang around. Must have been a relief then, when he left. For weeks, I cried every night. My husband was killed, the father of my children. I'm... I'm sorry. Randy changed. He locked up. Not to mention the other two I still had to raise. Life was rough with him and without him. Sometimes there's no solution. Let's, um, change the subject. Hang in there, Joss. Got another dry, sun-filled week coming your way, Night City. But soak in that sun while you can. There's a cold front moving in. Prepare for cooler conditions as we head into the weekend. Barry? Am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? You can't let yourself fall apart, Barry. Not here. Not in Night City. You're a badge. Ex-badge, but still. You gotta stay strong. If you won't, who will? Now hold on a sec. We barely know each other, and you just rock up here talking to me about my problems. Where'd you get the idea something with me was up? You watching me? Someone send you? Alright, you got me. Your friends asked me to drop in on you, so I thought, hey, why not? He's a stand-up guy. Who cares if he has shitty taste when it comes to street traders? Come back just to get your ass kicked? Man, you really know how to cheer a guy up. Maybe those two asshats really are worried about me. Come on in. Not like I'll change anything. Hey, you never know. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. He, uh. I told you about him. Best bud I ever had known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Yeah, Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy jeans. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care.
he finally decided to get his shit together? But cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, so what did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. He's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Clearly he couldn't stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. He said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? <sighs> Give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. He just gotta shake some sense into him, trust me. We'll see. We'll have to check in on him later. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Sorry, Barry. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. Get out! Slow and steady! 